Let's do our part to help birds thrive. We can make our yards come alive. Hi there, my name is Brooke. Welcome to my homegrown national park. Do you hear that? That's the sound of a robin. It looks like a robin family is building a nest nearby. One of my favorite activities in the spring is to watch for birds building their nests. But what is a bird nest? And what are nests made of? A bird nest is a home built by birds for their babies. It's where the babies sleep, enjoy protection from stormy weather, and other animals. A bird nest doesn't look like a house, but it might be inside a bird house. A bird nest won't look like a bed, but it's where baby birds sleep. You won't find a dining room inside, but it's where birds feed their babies. Nests come in a variety of sizes. This tiny hummingbird nest is no bigger than a quarter. Other nests might be the size of a soup bowl, like this robin's nest. But how do birds keep their nests safe? Most backyard birds will build their nests sheltered away from nearby animals, like this robin's nest. Woodpeckers like to build their nest in the safety of a sturdy tree. Hey look, this sparrow built a nest in a birdhouse. Keep your eyes open because some birds, like the killdeer, lay their eggs on the ground. Bird nests can be made from all sorts of different collected materials. Some might even surprise you. Bluebirds use pine needles, twigs, and leaves. Barn swallows use dried grass and mud. Some small birds, like this wren, collect strands of spider webs to build their nests. Ooh! Pigeons, starlings, and crows use bits of trash to build their nests. Isn't that cool? I filled this crate with dried grass, pine needles, twigs, and other soft materials to make nest building easier for the birds. It takes a lot of work and dedication to build a great nest, but the birds are willing to put in the work. If a bird makes a nest somewhere that is inconvenient for you, like they did in my mom's barbecue grill, don't worry, they won't be there forever. Just wait a few weeks. Baby birds grow up fast, and when they're ready, they'll fly away and sleep in the trees and then you can remove their abandoned nest. Be sure not to touch the nest before the babies are ready to fly away. The next time you're outside in your backyard, in a park, or at your school, take a look around you. You might just find a nest hidden where you least expect it. Learning about birds is the first step to attracting them to your backyard in order to enjoy them and help protect them. See you soon. When we bought this house, this backyard was only grass. We made the decision to transform our yard by planting native flowers, shrubs, and trees. And voila, we created our own homegrown national park. And you can do it too. Thanks for listening. See you next time. Birds will make your world go round, filling the air with beautiful sounds, picking up seeds, putting them Let's restore 20 million acres of nature's habitats. Let's do our part to help birds thrive. We can make our yards come alive. Bird baths, feeders, native plants too. There are so many things that we can do.